Welcome to Jobline, Long Island's only program devoted to career opportunities and workplace issues. I'm Scott Possessor. You want to be successful, no doubt, but do you dress for success? How conscious are you that every single day, in every way, and by everyone, you're constantly being evaluated based on your appearance and mode of dress? The right attire, perfect grooming, positive body language, and a polished overall appearance can help you succeed on an interview, in a business meeting, and in networking situations, but all signs also point to a link between the way you dress and your level of success. To understand this, just look at the way successful people dress. All successful people invariably pay meticulous attention to the way they dress. If you doubt this, name a successful person that doesn't. Now, with that in mind, here to help you crystallize your brand and help you dress for success is Joanne Dabrowski, founder and president of YPI Consultants, LLC. YPI works with clients in the business, political, and educational arenas as they meet the challenges of building image and shaping public perception. And shaping public perception of you is very, very important, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is very, very important. You have three seconds to make a first impression, and you could never repeat that first opportunity for a quality first impression. In a, in a workshop that I was given one time, I asked people, can you name a successful person who doesn't pay meticulous attention to their dress? And somebody raised their hand and said, Bill Gates. And I said, oh yeah? Take a look at his glasses. You think those glasses are an accident that he just picked up any pair at all? Or did he choose goofy looking glasses as part of his personal brand? Everybody that's famous does this. And I think everybody in the business community should pay much more attention you know, to their address. And, and let's talk about uh, the formal versus casual, business casual now. It's so much more business casual than it used to be. Yes, it is. It definitely is. And there's a miss when it comes to business casual and understanding you still have to be professional. You still have to make a presentation. You're presenting yourself. Mm. Casual is relaxed. It's not as professional as with a suit and tie, but it does not mean that you can wear bleached out denim, flip flops, you know, and, and a, a t shirt or a tank top and go to work and expect to be, to receive the same kind of response from your peers. All right, we're going to show some pictures in a minute, but before we do, uh, just because a company has business casual, it allows business casual. Does that mean you should? Or does that mean a shirt and tie is still shows that you're management material? There, there are certain guidelines and you have to look to your superiors mm -hmm. to see what they're doing. If, if you're looking to move up the ladder, you need to look who's ahead of you and what they're doing mm -hmm. and understanding that they're judging you. Not just your immediate supervisor, but everyone above him also. And in other locations, you're being judged no matter what. And you're also representing a company. Whether that owner gave birth to that company and created that business, and they have a real tight handle on things, or whether it's a big corporation and it's just a branch office, mm. you're still being watched. All right, let's take a look at some pictures. Now, we're going to take a look at some before and after shots or pictures that are either good or not good. What are we looking at here? You know, gentlemen on the left in the denim casual not professional casual his demeanor take a look at his demeanor right on the right look at the power he automatically possesses and how he carries himself I did not instruct him to do that mm -hmm. he did that all on his own we had a conversation and just being in that attire made him feel so much more powerful mm -hmm. and understood the power that he really you know owns now okay now we have another set uh, coming up what are we looking at here? The gentleman thought he looked very professional with the blazer. Right. Now take a look on the right. He's casual, he's very confident, and his clothes fit him properly. It's proper casual, proper fitting of tire. Right. Is, is that person, th that's the same guy? But that's he, the he looks same. like he's about 50 pounds heavier. Is that, is that true, or is it just the way the attitude is? I mean, it's, the way the, the clothing is. It's the clothing. Okay. Understanding the power in your attire. Wow. Very interesting. All right. And yes, uh, now we're going to also go for some bullets that you, that you prepared uh, to okay. for me also, because I want the viewers to know uh, that if, if image is everything, you want to look sharp. Business casual attire differs from general casual attire. What do you mean by that? We just show, saw the pictures, the mm -hmm. individuals, mm -hmm. the gentleman, the first two shots, the bleached out denim with the long sleeve. That's general casual attire. Right. He can wear that anywhere. But when it comes to business, you want to be more professional where he had the blazer okay. and the button down shirt. Okay. And then the style of clothing makes a difference in personal fit. Let's talk about that. The second set. Look at the gentleman with the blazer, when he had the blazer on, how heavy. That obviously was not his size. It was a bad fit for him, but when you took him out of the clothes and you put him in the sweater, 
Look how powerful he was and how, how thinner he looked. Okay. And then clothing should be tailored to fit your body frame. You, when you make a purchase of clothing, start, if you're buying a jacket, you start with the shoulders and make sure the shoulders are going to fit. And if, if for a woman, you have to make sure it's going to button and cover the bust. For a man, it's with the shoulders. You make sure it fits your largest part of your body and have everything else tailored to fit you. Okay. And feel and look confident with proper fit and style. Absolutely. When something fits you and people walk up to you and say, wow, you look really great today. That's a dynamite suit. You may have not have bought it in a high-end boutique, but it has the same fit and look because it's made to fit your body type. Great point. We have to take a break up next. How the proper style of clothing can really add to your personal image. Job line. We'll be right back.